Well, I'd like to now introduce you to the INCHI, not the Da Vinci Code. I-N-C-H-I, International Chemical Identifier. And it's the greatest thing ever since sliced bread. Meet the Inchi people. Endorsed by IUPAC, the chemistry organization that names stuff. They'll tell you about Inchi. Why can I hear Russian music? Well, I created the program which makes inches out of chemical structures. And uh, it took some time, and finally it worked. And I'm quite happy that it did. <laughs> inches uh, are a representation of chemical structure. It has all the details. And the bigger the chemical structure, the bigger the inch. This is chemical structure of a well-known a uh, substance called morphine, and this is how a chemist would draw a chemical structure of it. I think we need a chemist at this point. White coat, chemicals, she looks the part. Vinci is made up of layers. The first layer shows the chemical formula. For morphine, this is C17H19NO3. The second layer shows the connectivity of the atoms in the molecule. The section starting with an H refers to where the hydrogen atoms in the molecule are positioned. I'm not going to draw them all in because it will be a bit messy. There can be further layers in the inchi, such as this one, which shows the stereochemical information in the molecule. So the inchi is built up of layers. It contains the chemical formula, the connectivity of the main atoms in the skeleton, the hydrogen atoms, and other information such as charges, isotopes, and the stereochemistry in the molecule. One of the other great features of the design process in inchi was to be able to handle tautomers molecule having different forms and it exists in different states and interact with its target and affect the body in different ways. That's some funky chemistry. So although a human can see that all of these structures represent the same compound, morphine, a computer can't tell the difference between these structures, or not easily at least. An inch is a convenient identifier for a substance as it represents all of these chemical structures. So the INCHI is like a barcode for the substance because regardless of how different journals, supplier websites or databases represent the structure of the chemical, they can all use the same universal identifier, the INCHI, to represent the molecule. Unlike a barcode, it actually contains all the information about the chemical. So it really does help machines see the world as the chemist sees it. It isn't a barcode as such. You don't need an optical scanner as you do in the supermarket, but you can express it in simple characters from a keyboard. It's amazing, actually. It hadn't been done earlier in, in some ways. The barcodes have been around for 30 years by then. I don't quite know why we waited so long, but there you are. It's hierarchical, it's extensible, scalable, um, and is pretty easy to understand. Unexpected item in bagging area. 